In this tutorial, I'm going to discuss introduction to monopoly theory, and I'm going to use some numbers this time. This is the second video in a four video playlist, and the other videos run from introduction to the calculus proof. In this video, though, I'm going to do monopoly theory or introduce you to monopoly theory using some numbers. Here's what the final product looks like. And I'm also going to graph the numbers and show you where marginal cost equals marginal revenue. In this case, the monopoly is going to produce a quantity of 7, and that's where marginal cost equals marginal revenue. I'm going to tell you the answer, but then I'm going to go through all the calculations also. First, I'll calculate total revenue, then profit, average revenue, average cost, marginal revenue, and marginal cost. Quantity is given, price is given, and total cost is given. So the very first thing I'm going to calculate is total revenue. Total revenue is quantity times price, and this is equal to total revenue. So I have 0 times 10, a price of 10 is equal to total revenue of 0. You don't sell anything, you don't make any revenue. I have a quantity of 1 times a price of 10 is equal to a revenue of 10. I'll just do one or two more. So I have 2 times 980, which is equal to 1960, total revenue. So I'm taking the quantity column times the price column for total revenue. And now I'll just fill in the rest of the values. Profit is equal to profit. It turns out to be total revenue minus total cost is equal to profit. If I have total revenue is zero minus total cost is zero, I have zero profit. Don't make anything, don't sell it, don't make no money. Total revenue is 10, total cost is 8, profit is 2. Total revenue is 1960, total cost 1525, total profit 4.35. Now I'll just fill in the rest of the values. I think you got that. Now I am going to calculate average revenue. Total revenue divided by quantity is equal to average revenue. I'm going to calculate average revenue for the second row there, the highlighted row. So I have revenue of 10 divided by a quantity of 1. is equal to average revenue of 10. Now I'm going to calculate average revenue for a quantity of 2. So I have 1960 divided by a quantity of 2. And this is equal to 9.80. Now I'll just fill the rest in. Now I'm going to calculate average cost. Total cost divided by quantity is equal to average cost. So the first value, I take 8 divided by 1, gives me an average cost of 8. Now I have a value of 15.25, a total cost of that, divided by 2, is equal to 7.63. I'll just fill in the rest of the values now. Now I'm going to calculate marginal revenue, marginal cost. Those calculations are slightly different than what you've probably seen before. So I take marginal revenue is equal to the change in total revenue due to some change in quantity. When quantity goes from 0 to 1, 
total revenue goes from 0 to 10. Therefore, I take 10 minus 0 divided by 1 minus 0. This equals, of course, 10 divided by 1. So the marginal revenue is equal to 10. If quantity increases from 1 to 2, then total revenue goes up from 10 to 1960. And the way we make this calculation is we take 1960 minus 10 divided by 2 minus 1. This is equal to 9.60 divided by 1. So marginal revenue is 9.60. In my case, in my example, quantity always increases by 1. So it seems almost silly to do the change in quantity, but you probably have examples in your classes where quantity does not increase by one, so you want to get in the habit of making that calculation. Now I will fill in the remaining values. Marginal cost is very similar to marginal revenue. And it equals the change in total cost divided by the change in quantity. When I go from 0 to 1 quantity, total cost goes up from 0 to 8. So I take 8 minus 0 divided by 1 minus 0. This is equal to 8 divided by 1 and of course, this is equal to a marginal cost of 8. If quantity goes from 1 to 2 units, cost goes from 8 to 1525. So I go 1525 minus 8 divided by 2 minus 1. And this is equal to 7.25 divided by 1, which gives me a marginal cost of 7.25. I'll just fill in the rest of the values there. And this was what the completed table looks like. It's not hard calculations, just tedious. Now I'm going to graph marginal cost, marginal revenue, average revenue. And... This is the average revenue or the demand curve. Marginal revenue looks like that. And finally, marginal cost. As planned, they intersect. Marginal cost and marginal revenue intersect at 7. If I go straight up, that gives me the price of 8.80, which is in the table as well. So these are my equilibrium values. Marginal cost, 750. Marginal revenue, 750. And if you notice profits, 10.75 at 7 units. It's 10.65 at 6, a little lower. And 10.35 at 8. So just right, maximize profit at 7 units. One last set of curves. If you notice, I'll put in the total revenue and total cost curves. Obviously, I drew them in. And now the marginal cost, average revenue, and marginal revenue. If I go straight up, that distance between those two curves, total cost and total revenue, that's where profit is maximized. If you haven't done so already, I would encourage you to watch the introduction video on monopoly theory. It should help out. And also even give the uh, calculus a go, even if you don't have calculus in your class. So share the knowledge, share the love, 
questions and comments and suggestions below. Make sure you like the video too. Like us. And make sure you subscribe to the channel because I'm always posting new videos to help you in your economics class.